Hi guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be comparing the T3 Micro Airbrush Duo to the Dyson Airwrap Styler. So these are two completely different tools. They have different attachments, but they do have some similarities. They are both hair dryers, obviously, and they both bring a puddle brush and a round brush. So I wanted to see how they compare on the tools, you know, that the T3 Micro brings and what um, end result you can get with each one of them. I do have pretty thick hair, curly, so um, I don't see many videos on YouTube that compare tools like this with my type of hair. So I definitely wanted to start making videos comparing the two. And if you guys know, I was looking for a much healthier option for my hair um, to be able to straighten it. And I came to the conclusion that these are the two tools that I wanted to keep. So if you wanna watch like each one separately, I do have videos using, um, you know, the two of them on my channel. So go ahead and watch those. But today I'm just gonna compare. So I'm gonna do the left side of my head with the Tea Tree Micro and the right side of my hair with the Dyson um, Airwrap. So, as far as prices, this one comes at a very, very high price tag. I think I paid over $600 for it. Um, and it does bring much more attachments. It brings a hair dryer, um, two paddle brushes, and curling wands. And then on this one right here, you can use this one as a hair dryer, which is amazing. And then it brings a round brush and a paddle brush, which I will show you. You're probably very familiar with how the... Um, Dyson tools look, but these ones are the ones that it brings. If you are comparing like the sizes of them, I will put them side by side with the one that I use today. This one is the paddle brush from um, Dyson and this one is the T-Term Micro Airbrush Duo, um, the white one, but it's much bigger and um, it just it's able to get a lot more hair. But I will say, even though that it's bigger, it doesn't mean that it grabs more hair than the Airwrap Duo. And you're gonna see that on the demo that I'm gonna show you. And then the other difference is the sizes on the round brush, which is what I like to use. So this is a round brush from um, Dyson, which is amazing. I love this. If they would make this on a bigger size, I would probably never look anywhere else. And then look at the size compared to the T-Tier Micro. It's just much bigger, able to grab much more hair. So this is what I like to use to style my whole um, hair. And you can start to see how one side is getting a little bit more puffy than the other, even though I use the highest heat settings on both. But at the same time, it left my hair super smooth on both sides. So I just want you guys to see um, the differences between them and kind of, kind, of, kind of how they perform and how I use them. So the T3 Micro is $175 and it brings this part, um, the dryer, and then two um, attachments. And then, like I said, the Dyson was like 600 580, something like that. As far as the tools themselves, the Dyson is a little bit more heavy than this one, the t Micro, but they both have very similar um, buttons. So the buttons on the t Micro are here on the bottom. You have your um, fan, your heat, and then the Ionic technology that it uses. On the back, it has the power button and then a cool button um, that would be like the cool shot on the Dyson. And then here, this is where you press to detach the, um, the brushes. And on this one, you have your stuff right here. You have the on and off button. The cool shot is all the way at the top. Then you have the fan settings over here and then the heat settings over here. So the first one's cool, the two others are hot. And then it has two heat settings. The T3 Micro has five, which is amazing. And then on the back, it just has a detach um, button. That's pretty much the differences between the two. I really love the white and rose gold look of the T3 Micro. I think it's so nice and so aesthetically pleasing, but I really like the Dyson as well. It hasn't really chipped or anything, but I do know that this material uh, where it has the color does chip a little bit, but that hasn't happened to me and I hope it doesn't happen ever. But um, yeah, that is them. And let's go ahead and start doing my hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this look and then you can tell me which side you like the best. I just did my makeup so my hair dried a little bit while I was doing that, but I'm gonna start with this side since it seems that um, it's drying a little bit faster than this one. And I'm gonna choose this side to do with the T3 Micro. So I have it right here. I didn't put any of the attachments yet because I want to um, kind of blow dry it. So let me put a clip on the right side. I'm just gonna keep it like right here. Hopefully that works. And then I'm gonna go with the T3 Micro. I'm probably gonna put it on the third uh, heat setting and the lowest fan.
So I'm going to be putting these three products. The first one is the Heritage um, Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I, I said this before, I don't really like super like this product, but I'm using it because I have it. The other one I'm using the, is the Olaplex Bond Smoother. Um, and this one I do love. And I'm going to put this from the middle of my hair up to the ends. And then I'm going to use the Olaplex um, Oil. And this one also has a heat protectant, so that's why I use it. And I'll start with this one so you guys can see like how this one works since I'm using the paddle brush on the air wrap as well. But if you do on the Dyson or if you have looked uh, at tutorials, the flat brush for the air wrap is pretty much like the one that you're going to use to um, straighten your hair versus using like the round brush for the whole hair. Um, this one's a little bit different. This one you can definitely use it for straightening your whole hair, but for my type of hair, I just prefer to have the round brush since I can um, maneuver the ends a little bit better. I really don't think this um, paddle head was really made for people with curly hair, so I just don't think that it gives me like the end result that I'm looking for. So so here I kind of ditched the paddle brush. Honestly, I think the round brush just works much better for me. And I don't think this is a type of tool that they gave you two brushes to be used um, simultaneously. It's more like you choose to um, use whichever works best for your hair or for the type of look that you're going for. So I definitely just think that the um, round brush works better and I just prefer it. So I'm just gonna finish off my hair with this. So some things that I like about this product is that it's not super heavy. It's definitely a little lighter than the air wrap, especially when you're holding it for a long period of time. The attachments are much bigger, so you'll be able to style your hair in much less time than the air wrap, especially if you are um, not curling it because that does take some time. But um, the other thing that I notice is that the Tea Tree Micro leaves my hair extremely soft. Not to say that the air wrap doesn't leave it soft, but this is just like another level of softness that I never thought my hair could uh, reach. And it's like every time I do my hair with this, I just fall in love with the texture and the shininess of it. And I just really love it. The other difference I've noticed with the air wrap versus um, the Tea Tree Micro is that when you attach the brushes on the top, you first have to put it in the, um, on the dryer and then you kind of twist to lock it. That lock doesn't really keep it in place and sometimes when you're pulling on your hair, it kind of moves around um, and you think that it might detach. It hasn't happened to me yet, but it definitely feels like I can't really pull on the tool. It took me about 12 minutes to do this side of my hair, which I think is pretty fast for how much hair and how curly um, my hair is. And I love the texture, honestly. I love how my hair looks. I love the ends. Um, it just looks super healthy and super nice, feels super extremely soft. And I just really love using this hair tool. There are some hairs left in the brush that um, it kind of pulled. And I will mention that, especially on the paddle brush, my hair does kind of get stuck on the sides. And that's not something that happens to me um, with the air wrap, but I will show you both of them. So it has like this brushes on the side and they, my hair kind of gets stuck on them for some reason. Um, and on this one, it kind of gets stuck on the top. It doesn't happen super often. And honestly, the first like three times that I use this tool, my hair was not, I just, I just looked at the tool and have barely like no hair on it. Which coming from the Revlon One Step, you guys know that that one pulls so much hair. So this is still like an improvement um, coming from that. And I think this is one of those hair tools that doesn't, doesn't make your hair look super sleek and straight. It's more like a very natural, healthy way of drying it um, while still getting that kind of straight look. So I just go over the sections like a couple times with the cool shot. You can definitely do this strand by strand um, and section by section, but I just think that it's so much faster to do it this way. Pretty, really pretty. I'm gonna just clip this now and then we're gonna move on to the air wrap. Okay, so the, the air wrap does bring a drying tool and this one is like the hair dryer. Um, and I'm gonna put this on the lowest heat setting and the lowest fan for this tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dry up my hair a little bit. That one definitely dries my hair up a little bit faster than the Tea Tree Micro. Now I'm gonna go in with a paddle brush and if you have uh, used the Dyson before, you probably think the same way as me. I think this is actually the um, comparison to like another round brush and another tool um, because the round brush on this one is just meant to kind of uh, give a little bit of a curl to your ends and uh, finish, but this one is the one that's gonna do like the straightening part. So I'm going to go with the highest heat and the lowest fan setting and I'm going to put uh, all those the same products that I put on this side of my hair right now. So I'm going to look a little crazy for a second but we have our first section here and I'm going to just start drying my hair. 
So right at the bed, because this tool is smaller than the paddle brush on the T3 Micro, um, it's just able to get in really close to my scalp and kind of dry those areas better than the T3 Micro. Um, and it dries my hair super, super fast and makes it look really, really nice. Um, the other thing is that the bristles on this um, paddle brush just grab my hair a lot better than the paddle brush on the Tree Micro, which is why I prefer using this one. But I still have to give it a little bit of tension. So as you can see, I'm kind of twisting my hair around the tool and kind of holding my hair as well while I go over my hair. Say so I really like this tool. Um, it's just very easy to use. I love the fact that this um, hair dryer brings so many attachments and that I'm able to do different things uh, with it, which I think it's why their um, their sales are so successful even at a high price tag. But I will say that I love the texture. I love the texture of both sides, honestly. But I do prefer the Tea Tree Micro just because it feels much softer. But if I were to do my hair for like a special event, I would probably go with the Airwrap just because it makes my hair look a little bit more sleek if I'm going for a straight look. Okay, so this is the initial look of. The air wrap, it dried my hair so much faster than the Tree Micro, but my hair is not really like ready to go. I still have to go in and do the ends because the paddle brush on the air wrap just does not go through my ends. They look like, I don't even know. I just, um, I'm gonna change the tool and I'm gonna go with the round brush, which is my favorite tool from this set. So even though it's drying my hair much, much faster than the Tree Micro, I still need to go in with a round brush and kind of go through my ends just because they still don't feel like super styled and straight. So that was super easy. I definitely feel like the side of the Tea Tree Micro is much, much puffier. I don't know if you can like tell that it's just a little bit more puffy, um, but it's softer. So I don't know which side you guys prefer. I think there are just different looks and um, just achieve different things. But I mean, if I had to pick one aside, not a tool, I'm torn because I have so much love for the Tea Tree Micro. I think it's such a great tool and it leaves my hair so incredibly soft. It makes it so much healthier and I love using it. I think it's super easy to use. It has, you know, five heat settings and it has uh, the still the cool, the cool shot, which I actually forgot to go um, over on this side, but I will do it off camera. Um, but this side though, like I just know it's gonna last me longer and it still leaves my hair very healthy looking. So I really can't pick one. I think they're both amazing. And I'm just gonna give you like a little bit of a look. This is a tea tree micro. And then this is the era. This is the ends as well. Like I just wanna show you, this is the ends as well. I did wanna show you like the whole thing and this is the back of my hair. So, um, I don't know, I have a lot of thoughts here. A lot of thoughts onto what I think. I think it's just so different. Um, I do prefer this one just because it doesn't have much frizz, but at the same time, I just can, I can just go over with the t Tree Micro a couple more times and uh, achieve that on this side, but I just, I don't, I like it. I like it how it is. I don't know. I will definitely love your opinion below, but I think at the end of the day, if you are looking for a tool just to blow dry your hair and straighten it, I think you're gonna really like the Tea Tree Micro. And if you don't want the extra tools, it's much, much cheaper. Um, and it dries your hair super fast. And it's like very light, you can still travel with it. I mean, it has like the little blow dryer, the cool shot, I just really love it. But if you were thinking about getting the air wrap for a long time, I would just say, go ahead and do it because I was on that boat. I didn't really know if I wanted it or not. And then once I did, I just haven't been able to put it down. I still use both of the tools uh, depending on, you know, how much time I have or what kind of look I'm going for. But I don't really, I, I don't, I can't say like that I have a favorite. I mean, my hair just looks really pretty. The ends look really nice. The one thing I will mention is that the air wrap seals the ends very well, which is probably why it doesn't give me much frizz. Um, if I use it on the lower heat though, I will, I'll probably spend like three hours doing my hair. So I have to use it on the highest heat, which is why my hair probably doesn't turn out as smooth or as, um, soft as this side, because it definitely does turn out much smoother. But 
yeah, let me know your thoughts below. I can, this would be like the point now where I go in with the curling ones um, now that it's like all straight. So that is definitely like what I do on a daily basis if I'm using the, the air wrap. I just go in with the paddle brush, then go in with the round brush for the ends just to kind of straighten them out and then go in with the curling one. So it would take me about an hour to do both things, but today it took me about 20, 24 minutes, 25 minutes to do my whole head with both tools, which is pretty standard. So let me know below what you think and let me know which one is your favorite, what you thought. Uh, I would love to know. Everything's gonna be linked down below, all the products that I use, all the shampoos and stuff I use when I do um, wash my hair and then all the tools as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you on my next one. Bye.